in this video, I'm going to show you how I made these very easy and very cute St. Patrick's Day Clovers. They are chocolate covered pretzels. So extra delicious. There is no cooking or baking required in this. All you need is a couple ingredients and a microwave. So keep watching if you wanna see how I make these very cute St. Patrick's Day Clovers. So all you're gonna need is some green candy melt. I'm gonna use green and white, but if you just want to go the cheapest route possible, you can definitely just use the green ones. And these are the Wilton candy melts. I will link the ones that I like below. And then I have some green Wilton sprinkles that I'm gonna use to sprinkle on top. And then you need two types of pretzels. You need the ones that are the sticks and the ones that are the mini twists. And then I just need a piece of wax paper on a cookie sheet, like that. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my green candy melts and put them in a microwave safe bowl and melt them. I do my microwave on half power and I melt them for 30 seconds at a time, stirring each time between. Okay, I got my green chocolate oil melted. I've arranged my pretzels on my thing in the shape that I want them in. And then I'm just gonna dip them in my chocolate and use the spoon to kind of help spread it around and then put them together on the parchment sheet. This is the shape that you want to go for. So it's kind of like a clover shape. I'm gonna start by dipping my stick, covering it entirely in green. You wanna put a generous amount, but not, not go too crazy. I'm gonna leave a little piece at the bottom so that I can hold on to it. Then I'm gonna put that in the middle. And then I'm gonna cover these guys. And stick it so that it's touching the other green chocolate. them all together make sure that the chocolate is sticking so that they will and then if you need to do any little touch-ups on it I'm gonna put a dollop in the middle and if you're putting sprinkles on you want to do that right away while the chocolate's still wet and then you could just leave that on your wax paper to harden Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna put sprinkles on all of them because on some of them I want to drizzle white chocolate over top of the green. So I'm gonna put sprinkles on some of them and leave some of them to harden and then drizzle the white chocolate at the end. Okay, I'm gonna pop these in the fridge so they can get nice and hardened while I melt my white candy melts and make some more with my white. Okay, I now grabbed my green ones from the fridge and I'm gonna use just the same icing that I have in this bowl to drizzle over top. I'm just gonna use my spoon Just want to drizzle the white over top. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my white ones. I'm gonna drizzle green over top. The best thing about these candy melts is you can remelt them as many times as you need to. So I've let this green get hard, but I'm gonna pop it back in the microwave and I can remelt it. Then you don't waste any and I don't waste another bowl or another decorating bag to melt more.
Okay, so I popped them in the fridge so that the chocolate could get nice and hardened and I am all done and here's my finished product. They turned out really great. They're so easy and it's a delicious chocolate covered pretzel snack and it looks just like a clover. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe because I have some more St. Patrick's Day baking coming your way. Let me know in the comments if you do anything fun or special on St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching.